Hey everybody, welcome to Richie Nix Gaming. Today I'm going to be making a mini tutorial while Owen walks around with a metal bowl on his head. He thinks it's so funny. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the match page. So first of all, how do you get to the match page? You go to the, your league, you say you're ready, that's the match page. You get matchup, condition, batting order, and play mode. Matchup just shows you who you're playing. It shows you who's pitching for both of you. It shows you your uh, your pitchers overall, your teams overall, and your team's condition. <laughs> uh, and so that's all really straightforward. You know, I'm De Bears. We're in. Oh. We're in second place. Uh, I'm pitching. Uh, my overall is 90. The team's overall is 1692. And we are in a light green condition. Uh, it's what? Plus three? If you uh, click on uh, the team, it'll show you... Uh, more specifically, uh, team information. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It shows you all of your starting pitchers and their conditions and their uh, overalls. It shows you all of your relievers, uh, your relievers. Your closer is considered a reliever, apparently. It shows you uh, which player is playing which position. You know, it shows all of that stuff. Uh, and then you go to the condition. Yeah, uh, we've been over this condition. <clears throat> Excuse me, Owen. Uh, it shows you uh, how, you know, it shows you the condition of everybody. Uh, dark green plus five is the best. Then light green plus three. Then yellow at zero. And then orange, at, uh, I think it's minus three. And then red at uh, minus five. Uh, and then we go to batting order. Uh, we've talked about batting order before. Uh, you can adjust it on the fly for every game. You just click on one player and then another player, and you hit substitute, and they change. Uh, but the big thing that people have asked about is play mode. What is play mode? Uh, play mode is the difference between uh, physically playing for your player or uh, simply watching them play. So, as you can see, everybody is selected uh, to be manually played, uh, and that is uh, my ideal preference. Oh, and get down. Get down. That is a bad baby. It's a bad baby. It's not funny. <clears throat> um, and it's, uh, it's a different, and you simply select a single player, and choose to watch instead or to play instead or these buttons over here uh, you select all of your batters or you select all of your pitchers um, and uh, it's like it, you know if you're manually playing and you know say you know, you just don't want to pitch. All you want to do is like practice batting, but actually uh, working on your season instead of uh, just going to batting practice. Uh, then you would, uh, you know, select pitcher and just turn them all to watch so that you can just skip the pitch uh, playing as pitchers. Um, I have only used it to see what it does. Um... If it's a batter, for example, it does not show you their entire at-bat. It just shows you the last pitch, whether it's a hit or a strikeout or a walk. It doesn't... Sh they could have a full count and uh, strike out, but you only see that last pitch. You don't get to see the other five pitches. Um, I have not done watch mode for a pitcher because pitching is my favorite thing to do in this game anyway. So I would never skip over it uh, personally. But I could totally see why people would do it. So I'm not trying to discourage doing it. Um, but that's really it. You know, 
Um, I've got in, uh, I've gotten questions about, you know, what play mode is and the difference between watching and playing and everything. And that's it, basically. Um, hi. So that was a really quick mini tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comments if I didn't actually answer the questions that, uh, you have about this subject. Uh, let me know if this was helpful. Please like, please subscribe, please share, uh, and, uh, keep leaving your game suggestions, keep, uh, asking for, uh, tutorial subjects if I haven't gotten around to it. I do have a very long list that I'm slowly getting through, and it's harder for me to get through it, uh, in these higher leagues than it was in the past, um, so I'm sorry that it's been, uh, so long since I've done a tutorial that wasn't just for an update. Uh, but I really wanted to cross some things off this list, and uh, this was a really quick, simple one. Um, if you change a player to watch, you're no longer manually playing. Just keep that in mind, because you get that manual play bonus at the end of every game. Uh, but yeah, I think that I think now that covers everything. Uh, so, again, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, follow me on Twitter at RigidNixGam1. That's RigidNixGaming without the ING and the number one instead. Uh, check out my music channel, RigidNixMusic. Uh, RigidNixMusic is also on Twitter. It's RigidNixMuse1. It's music without the IC and the number one instead. And uh, I got PayPal for one time donations. Uh, music purchases, uh, game purchases, uh, that's paypal.me slash richynix, and I think I have covered everything, so, uh, keep, uh, your eyes open for the next few videos, um, I've got more conversations with Jake. I've got the uh, postseason of the World 3 League coming up. So it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be an exciting September. Uh, I will also begin, I've been recording um, some uh, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I'm doing a no death run of Shadow of Mordor. Uh, so far, uh, I've recorded two episodes with, uh, a friend, uh, Dylan Booth. Um, we've been discussing the history of Middle-Earth video games, uh, back from the very first one in, like, I think it was, like, 1982 was the first one. Uh, and, uh, we've been discussing that while I'm playing. I think I've gotten through about 10% of the game, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and, uh, he he has found a couple uh, recipes for Middle Earth themed food, so uh, we're gonna be making Middle Earth themed food, eating it, reviewing it, talking about the recipes. He's a uh, professional chef. Uh, he went. Uh, he did. He did culinary and trade school for high school. He went to Johnson and Wales University for culinary. Um, he's a very good chef, uh, and he's a good gamer. And when we're done with Shadow of Mordor, we're gonna do Shadow of War. We're gonna play Battle for Middle Earth Two. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. There's gonna be a lot more variety uh, popping up on the channel. And, uh, rather than just straight Baseball 9, or gameplay, and, uh, I can, and don't forget that, uh, yes, I am going to be playing, uh, Baseball Star after Baseball 9. Uh, I think that's a good summary of the, um, the plans for this channel, uh, at the moment. Uh, no dates yet. Uh, I have to edit like the Shadow of Mordor games. Um, I have to edit uh, the second conversation I had with Jake. I just remembered that I should have done that today. Um, 
and uh, that is that. Um, I'll say it one last time. Please like, please subscribe, please share. I've been uh, Richard. This is Richard X Gaming. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful, and I'll see you guys down in the comments. Have a good one.